Hey everybody, it's May and I am getting some stuff planted in the garden. I'm only planting things today that start with the letter P. That's right, they have to start with the letter P or I'm not planting them today. Why? Why not, right? I just noticed I got some stuff I need to plant and they all start with the letter P. Kind of weird. But real quick, I'm going to give you a tour of my garden in May. Um, I'm going to get some funky music playing and just give you a tour in case you haven't seen our garden before. Last year, this was a goat area, a goat pen, and I had a garden in it last year, and I've done a lot of improving. The garden um, actually did pretty great last year, and I learned where the areas that had shade were and the areas that had more sun. So I'm hoping this year to have a much better garden. I have some raised beds. I've made some trellises out of cattle panels. I split my garden into two sections. Um, the back section, which I'll show you, um, has perennials. And now I just started back there, so this is going to be several years for me to get it to where I want it to be. But the perennials are fenced off, and I have my beehive there. First year beekeeper here. I'm actually getting a second beehive very soon, so I'm going to have two beehives for my first year. Um, but I have that separated. And up front in my bigger garden is all of my annuals. So every year I send my goats and our pet mini pig into the front section to clean up all of the uh, leftovers, the vines, the weeds, everything. And I'm also trying to get a lot of, um, a lot less weeds this year by mulching, by laying down, uh, um, I guess, mulch fabric to keep the weeds down or weed fabric. So I'm hoping that this upfront work is going to help me not have to weed as much because last year the weeds got kind of crazy. But hey, let's take a tour and then we're gonna get to planting. So these are the plants I'm planting today. The first is popcorn. So we actually grew this last year and these are the leftover seeds that we haven't popped. And a little bit of this popcorn goes a long way. I always think I don't put enough in the pan to pop it in the oil and we always have so much popcorn. This is something cool to do with your family. I try to grow stuff that is different, that's fun. Um, corn is cheap at the grocery store, but you can't get popcorn on a cob that I know of of any grocery store around here. So it's something fun for us to do. 
Um, I am gonna plant some other pop or, or some other corn later, but not today because that doesn't start with the letter P. But popcorn is definitely going in today. I have a unique problem. Maybe not that unique, but I can't really plant anything tall or viney on the edges because our horses and our goats will get that. So I'm gonna be planting my corn in the middle of my garden. Since today's programming is brought to you by the letter P, I'm gonna have to plant some peas, right? Um, eight to 12 days to germinate. Let me see, days to harvest, 56 days. Uh, looks like April, yeah. So I'm gonna plant these peas today. And the last thing I'm planting, oh, the second to last thing. This is a new plant for me. I've never planted this before, but I am growing peanuts. That's right, Jumbo Virginia peanuts. I've never planted these before. I actually have a few going in the greenhouse. The key to peanuts is that you need to take them out of the shell. It's pretty crazy. It's just peanuts in the shell. Um, you may be able to just get peanuts out of a grocery store if they haven't been processed, but most of the time they are and they're salted and things like that. But this is just a peanut. But I'm growing these for the first time ever. I don't know how it's going to do. You need five months of frost-free weather. We just had frost yesterday, but I'm going to go ahead and plant some of these um, today, and then I'm going to stagger and wait another week and plant the rest. Um, the cool thing I've read about peanuts they grow up, the plant does, and then it curls back into the ground, and then it vines out, and then it grows the peanuts in the ground, but they're not in the original roots. I don't know what you would call that, but I'm pretty excited to watch the peanuts grow. And what else do we got? Atlantic giant pumpkins. So if you watch our channel, you know we're having a pumpkin contest. Everyone is invited to participate. Biggest pumpkin and weirdest pumpkin. We already got about 20, maybe 30 people that say they're in, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I am doing a shout out for some folks, uh, maybe this weekend, hopefully. Uh, but if you want to be in the pumpkin challenge, um, I'll link the video here, maybe. Um, I am going to plant a few pumpkins, but I am going to wait for Rowan to get home from school um, so that... I can plant pumpkins with her as well. Um, it's a fun thing to do with your kids. So those are the things I'm gonna plant. Um, I'm super excited to get going in the, in the garden. Oh, potatoes, potatoes start with the letter P. I have more potatoes to plant. So um, I am gonna get everything planted. It's gonna take me a while, but that's okay. So hopefully where you live, you are able to start planting. If you aren't, hopefully frost season is almost done for you it's been a weird spring in the mountains of north carolina normally we don't have frost uh in may but it does happen so i'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed i'm gonna get to planting got my peanuts and uh hope for the best so happy homesteading and uh if you haven't started a garden in your entire life i would pick like three things to grow and just have fun um things taste better when you grow them We'll see you next time.